The Motoring Tip of the Week is brought to you by Walmart. For everyday low prices on Pennzoil, conventional, and synthetic oils. Our Motoring Tip of the Week concerns how to override the shift lock in your late model car. Now there's never a good day to have a breakdown with a car, and today's a typical example. It's always lousy weather when the car acts up. That's part of Murphy's Law. What you need to know is that for many, many years, cars have had an, a shift lock such that you can't move the shifter out of park and into drive or reverse without somebody in the seat with their foot on the brake pedal. And that's for safety reasons, so a child in the passenger seat can't reach over, shift the car into gear and have it take off. Now, that's a great safety system, but when your car dies, you often need to override it. Now, a tow truck driver knows how to do that when they've got to maneuver your car and tow it in when it's completely dead. But maybe you've left a map light on or the hatchback partially ajar or door ajar, and you've run the battery down overnight, and there's a row of cars in front of it or you're up against a wall or some reason why you can't get to the front of the car to boost it. You need to be able to move it back 16, 18 feet to get that other car in there and boost it. And because the shift interlock is electrical and the battery's dead, it won't work either. But there's always a way to override it manually. If you go to the owner's manual, you'll find it. Now, in this particular car, 2013 Kia Sportage, it's actually labeled right here in the shifter console. It says shift lock release. So it's monkey see, monkey do. Basically what you do in this case is just take a little screwdriver, tape over the nose of it so you don't scratch the console, and you pop out this tiny little window that's blocking it, and then you take the drivers, uh, take the keys out of the ignition switch and use the, the ignition key and just press it down in there, and now you can move the shifter out of park. But without the key in there to override it or, or uh, release the shift lock, you can see it will not move. And I've got my foot on the brake pedal, it still won't move. So as soon as you put the key in there, she goes into neutral. Now you've got to have an operator in the seat here so that they can operate the brakes and steering so the vehicle's not going to get out of control on you. But now you can have a friend push it back 16, 18 feet, get the other car in there, boost it, and you're all set. That's your motoring tip of the week.